The first person to walk in space who was not a government astronaut was just nominated to lead NASA. Jared Isaacman, a tech billionaire who flies fighter jets, commands private space flights, and has helped raise hundreds of millions of dollars for St. Jude Children's Hospital, is President Donald Trump's pick to be the next NASA administrator. News 6's James Barvero is at Kennedy Space Center with news that could change America's course in space over the next four years. Here at our press building at KSC, there's pictures on the wall of the commander in chief, the vice president, and the NASA administrator. So four years ago, I watched as they changed out President Trump's portrait for President Biden, Mike Pence for Kamala Harris, and Jim Bridenstine for Bill Nelson. Now, of course, his administrations are changing again. President Trump will be back here, and you will have a political newcomer, just like President Trump at one time was not a politician. So too could be this portrait if Jared Isaacman's nomination is accepted. That would make Isaacman a self-funded private astronaut, now the leader of the U.S. government's space interest. As I've watched Jared during the two missions he's commanded now, Inspiration4 in 2021 and Polaris Dawn this summer, I've heard him talk lots about advancing spaceflight. Here's a little of what I heard him say here in August. Supporting that kind of bigger dreams that, you know, Maybe not in the not too distant future, humans are gonna are gonna finally reach uh, another planet other than our own. Three, two, one. Making life multiplanetary is in the works for who Isaacman paid for his space flights, Elon Musk and SpaceX. Two weeks ago, the latest Starship test, I asked our expert here, Bill Harwood of CBS, about rumors now of canceling NASA's SLS rocket. Musk is supposed to work with President Trump on cutting government spending and NASA's own Office of Inspector General has called the over-budgeted and often delayed SLS unsustainable. Do you think there's any chance that SLS could get canceled? Those are the rumors on the internet, for now at least. Yeah, I hear those rumors too, and uh, I don't like to speculate about things like that because we just don't know. But clearly, uh, with the Inspector General's conclusion it's unsustainable, I think there's a lot of people that believe that. If NASA can't figure out a way to really bring down the cost of that rocket, then yeah, I think its future is very uncertain on X, which you probably know Elon Musk owns now too, Isaacman wrote that becoming administrator would be the honor of a lifetime. And he says that America's second space age has only just begun. At the Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.